Man, guys. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Uh, I told myself I needed to check the battery on a GoPro. Should have checked it. <laughs> Man, guys. Sorry, guys. All right, well, let me get this back on here. We'll finish this one window. We'll get off. Ride just came in. See, this battery's already at 91%. That's crazy. All right, let's see if we have anybody show up. See if my new live pops up on here. Yep, right, right, cheer. Man, that should be. <laughs> and it died, man. Video said private. Yeah, the the video is private until I. Uh, unfortunately, the video until I go back. How does the camera look? Does it look good? Good where I'm at? I can't tell. Uh, where was I at? I was doing this. Like, that should beep. The, the GoPro should beep before it dies. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, it never gave me a warning saying it was going to die. But if you guys are here, we got probably like another 10 minutes. Say what's up. Three in the house, four looking good. All right, we might have brought everybody back. Maybe, okay, door panel protector. I don't have alcohol out here. I guess I could probably try to clean with glass cleaner. The problem with glass cleaner this is not going to dry as fast as uh, it's not going to dry as fast as alcohol, so we want to be careful with that. Not careful, but we'll have to make sure we dry it both ways. But looks good. Okay, good. All right, let me pull the seal back out again. But we're going to use this uh, this again. Come again. Cool. Yeah, it was sad that went went off on me. But four people back. Say what's up. Sorry about that. We'll blame Jay Bird on that one. He didn't remind me. Just playing. I reminded myself. I started on this. All right. There's that. Lock that down. Oh. Lock that down. I guess I probably should put that on there. This side's actually sticking a lot better than the, the other side was. What's up, Ryan, man? Hey, man, I seen you log in and then my GoPro died. Goddamn batteries. I hate that. Do you think that GoPro would, if you didn't watch it earlier, right? you, or in the beginning here, you would think the GoPro would tell you before it starts beeping that it was about to die. So dumb. It's about to die and then there's nothing you can do about it. It just dies. Stupid. Jose's back. What's up, buddy? I'm just going to keep going live and get Jose to come back. She's live! What do you got going on today, Jose? You said you were busy. What do you got going on, though? Oh, I'm looking for multiple switches like I'm on the other side of the truck. Ryan, are you going live today or are you you're leaving us hanging? Because I'm about done with this truck. I'll be ready for your live here. Hate? I hate. I was at lunch. At lunch? It's not it's ten o'clock. What's lunch? 
I haven't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> Yep, like 30 minutes. 10 a.m. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, 10 a.m. Well, that sucks, Dave. I could have said, have a good day, Ava. Tell Ava, when she comes home, I said, hope she had a good day. I always, I was watching something one day that said, uh, when your kids leave for school, instead of saying having a good day, you know, whatever, I, I say have or learn something new today. So I usually t tell my daughter when she walks out the door. If anything, learn something new. Have a good day, but learn something new. Oh, this one's not liking me right now that damn coating on there yeah right hopefully minutes i'll be there embroidering okay perfect i'm gonna shave this top edge for jaybird once again show them how easy the file i use is and enjoy using Oh, my people lock her in there roll her down this is a problem about tucking if you're tucking and want to shave you know how can you shave that top edge before rolling up i think that's another big reason i don't like to tuck but i'm pushing out the window and going up you can rip these edges if you're if you're not careful i have this one overhanging a little bit too much I mean, realistically, I could just keep going if I want, but I like to come this way. We all can see that. Took a little bit more off than I normally take off. We see that one where it really wasn't overhanging, but took a little more than I normally take off. If you can see that, but. Oh. What? No gaps. Gaps are bad. That's what my wall says over there. Gaps are bad. Man, Rye Beats, I, Rye, I, uh, <clears throat> I was messing with my, uh, my engraver, my M1 that I got. I haven't been able to post it yet, but I got to engrave on a baseball. So this is peeled back a little bit. So we just pull this like this, tuck it back in. Let it fall back in, let it fall back in. But I engraved it on a baseball, came out pretty cool. What is that blade? This blade is the dehydro from uh, uh, Tint Whiz from Tinner Battles. If that's what you're talking about. Is that the blade you're talking about? The one I'm using now? Well, not now, but Fusion Handle. That's Orange Crush. This is a fusion handle. Use the orange crutch now for squeegeeing off the top. Uh, I love these long fat boy handles. Um, this is a tri edge, 10 wedge tri edge. Um, very nice stuff. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is when you get down top, I'll, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll demonstrate that a little bit here. Well, I've been watching. A lot of tenors are using the file you recommended. Uh, I, I, you think? I know. I know a lot of people like to use that big ass one that Marco uses. Uh, oh, I was gonna show you that. Let me finish this. I'll show you. <clears throat> I'll do that and take this door cover off, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, door cover. Door cover off. See how much water is not on the door panel. I'm not. A, I really. I'll just clean the door panel. I'm not really worried about having water on doors i mean you roll it, you open the door when it's raining outside so and the the color that the color changing that you get from the door panel is going to be from the rain any or from you cleaning the door panel so what does that tell you so all right here we go demonstration 
Hit that thumbs up. That's right, right. Tell them. Hit that thumbs up. My moderator, tell me to hit thumbs up. So here, so both fuse hand, fusion fusion handles. Both fusion handles, as you can tell, the dimensions, the hard. This is a little bit thicker. This is a little bit thicker. But you can tell that this blade has a deeper edge. But this gets harder because they cut that off, right? A, more of a blunt edge. But when you're doing door panel, when you're squeezing down, when you squeeze it down here, look at that. Like it's it's hard to get down here, but when you take this squeegee, look how far it's already down. Look how much farther. Look how much farther you get the if you can see that. Let me take this off my head. I want to I want to show this. I like the squeegee, but look at the squeegee. If this door panel is in the way, hit look how far that one goes down. Versus this one. I'm not going down that far. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my head. We're gonna put my my new headlight on and see if we can get a better light going on here. So there. What's how's that? Cool. But yeah, so squeegeeing down. It gets down there, but stuff's in the way. When you're squeegeeing in this one, it gets down there and it gets so much farther down. Oh, uh, and then it goes in the corners a little bit better. Right, I'm gonna go in the sides here. Gets in there, I don't go sideways, but that's why I like that one. But this, if I'm taking door panels off, the hydro's well enough. Let's see if you guys can see the, oh, you can't even see the, the front screen. Oh, that's blurry as heck, my bad guys. Why don't you tell me that was, that was all messy. Hopefully I ain't blinding you too bad. Oh, it is. Look to check this light out. Uh, see this light? Look. Whoop on. Whoop off. Whoop on. Whoop off. That's pretty cool light. Uh, uh, and then it has modes that go on for the side piece right there in different angles. Let me shut that off. Here, shut it off. I didn't even get to see it. I was going to watch it on there, but all right. sorry. Pretty cool light file. I got this file off Amazon. If you look at my past videos, there's links in my videos for this file. It's off Amazon. Seven bucks. It's made by Nicholson. It's a bastard file. Favorite file. So that's from that hook tool. Push that in. Lock this back in. Door panel back on. Cool. That the chip goes in. Let it go. So turn the key off. Put the key in my pocket, I guess. We don't need nothing locked in there. Truck is tinted. Ready, ready. Freddy, Freddy. So yeah. So yeah, like I said, I'm not, you need room for these or a better solution to hang them. Uh, that one I'll probably take and hang up over there. All right, everybody, uh, Rye Beach down here. Make sure you guys go follow him. He'll be live in, what, 20 minutes, Rye? What do you got, 20 minutes left? Before you go live, um, take the tent buster off, shut her off. Tim Buster, if you want one, Sun Distributing has them. 44 Tools probably has them. You need it embroidered, let me know, I got gotcha. you. It won't cover up his logo. So, uh, this truck, oh, I, you know what? I got a windshield strip to do on this truck. Is this a two piece? Thanks for reminding me, I'm not done. I gotta, I gotta do a windshield strip. Good looking out. Uh, made me realize it when you said that because of the uh, uh, the price. You asked me what the price was. And this price is 315 bucks. 
side back and windshield strip. So we are not done. We might have to watch Rye at the same time. We will play live. Part two with the windshield strip. One window windshield strip. How about that? Uh, and I always do windshield strips at 5%. I have 24s cut. Um, I'll probably use a 20 inch. Uh, it's a two piece. So I can cut it at the same time. If I have enough. It's pretty empty. This is okay. Any comments over there? No more comments, but we will get this windshield strip done. Windshield strip, probably got 15 minutes on a windshield strip. Maybe 10. GoPro shouldn't die this time. I don't think I hit enter. Enter. All right, so windshield strips, there's a bunch of them. So you gotta look on the windshield and see what middle, they have just a small middle one. We have to move Chuck E. Cheese out of the way. Yeah, so they have the small one compared to the one that's off the side. So on the system, we will go with this one. And I always go with curved ones. And we do this. What we want to do is change this to 19. So we know we're not overlapping anywhere. The red lines are indications of the size of the media that you're using. Select all. We'll do a quick view which is the I, I button right here in Film and Vinyl Design. Um, and then hit Quick Cut. There's that. This should be actually probably quite quick. I'm gonna squeegee the board off. that is see that buckle this is why I say it depends on your platter and that's why my shit doesn't cut up because of this buckle when it pulls it's buckling the film up like that that's why that's why stuff doesn't connect because when it's buckling it's buckling the film like this so how can it connect in the correct spot so and look see how that roller rolled off like that I got lucky on that one um, so Definitely got lucky on that one. There's that. I'll just take this and split it in half and peel it. Uh, just be careful where it starts and stops at. That didn't even connect there, but... Oh, come on. No. There we go. Good. I always like to start at the fucked up parts. And pull away if you possibly can. You probably, these are on the sides there. You probably don't have to line them up, but we will. Snap your blades when you can. You'll scratch your glass more than sooner than later. I am right handed. Don't give me shit. Gets the job done. There's that too. So like I said, you're not really gonna see that. What could happen could uh, cause a finger to happen. I gotta figure out which one it is. So what I do is I imagine where this is gonna go on the outside of the glass and that corner was over there. So this one's that side. We'll put that there. Look, I'm getting some more embroidery. That program you're using. Uh, wait, who we got? The girl is sexy on the poster. I'm not even sure who she is. Martinez. Uh, she does a lot of wraps. Um, window tent queen. Dave. You should, if you need a calendar, go see her. 
Uh, the program you use, it comes with built designs for cars. Yeah, so all the cars that I need, I gotta grab my son distributing a dash towel. Um, and we will bring Mr. Tent Buster with me. I'm gonna set it in here. I'm not gonna put it on my back, but, uh, yeah, it tells all the cars, most of the cars that you need are gonna be on there. I turn this back on. Hit the button. Back on and working. Cool. So we'll need this and that, but yeah, comes with uh, most of the cars. I haven't found a car that really hasn't been on there that should be on there, if that makes sense. Crazy, gonna get wild. Sorry, pulling my head down too far, huh? So this is all dirty now, so I want to make sure I wipe it off and clean it. That's what I thought. I remember I remember watching her on there. I don't like I said I don't know exactly who she is, but I won that calendar on it on a, on one of the podcasts. Just like I won this tent buster. Just like I won that tank. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna drag the tent buster with me. They make an extension hose for this now. Oops. Oh, I'm out of water. You guys see that tent buster out of water. Look, let's go. Tim Buster it, ran out of water. Um, I don't really need to do this, but we will. So let's go. So we'll change this out real quick. Hopefully there's enough light in here. You know what, let's, let's unplug this for now. Let's get some light in here. It still ain't gonna work, the light. So I like the pump went, went wild because most likely the, the bladder is empty-ish. So, Take the bladder out, push the button, pull it out. A little bit of water comes out, no big deal. Uh, new bladder, take the new bladder. You wanna hold it really tight, okay? Push the button in, push straight in, make sure it's locked. Go back in. This bladder is a little bit fuller than most of them. So you have to prime it again, so. I turned the pump off, so I'll turn it back on. Hold the trigger, 30 seconds. And then it takes it back on. All right, good to go. New bladder in, ready to go. Almost made it, gentlemen. It might have been pinching. Might have been pinching the, uh, bladder two down there since I set it down. But I do believe that's how much I believe that's how much uh, water does uh, how much water uh, messes up on there. So. so I just cover barely. Make sure that's covering. Especially if there's plenty of room and it's not a big ass windshield strip anyways. And then when I do the other side, I do the same thing and it should line up pretty dang good. Cool. Now we'll go to the other side. We won't need a tip buster. Turn it off. I'm just gonna use my regular hose. Cool, there's that. Windshields is definitely not 
a friend of the tent buster, which is fine. A little extra glue over here, so I might have to get my knife out. Yeah, get the knife out. Clean this a little bit extra. Get my knifey knife out. Any last comments or concerns, we will jump off as soon as this is done. Sign off. These definitely have a lot more, definitely can have a little bit more pressure than a tent buster, but more pressure out of tent buster, more water wasted. Not sure how I feel that it goes, you waste, not waste more, you use more from the tip buster when it pushes out less PSI, but that's how I feel. So one way you can look at this too, is you can look at how much you have. If you if you are up a little higher, you can see where you're at there and see where you're at there. And there is AS1 line. So you kind of can match AS1 lines. I can't get down to AS1 line or I would have. Uh, you wanna watch, watch that, see where you're at. And then we'll squeeze it off. Everything should line up really well. If you want, get outside and kind of look, but your eyes are going to deceive you unless you get in front of the car and actually look at it. And windshield strips, I just use my Orange Crush. I use Orange Crush for years on side windows. I just switched to it, so why not use that windshield strip and clean it? That windshield is going to get the most sun anyways. So. Oh. I screwed that up, didn't I? Sun distributing. You need a dash towel. Hit them up. I make them for them. Sublimated white. It's supposed to be sending me more. I haven't got them yet. But I'm supposed to make more hats for them too. A little extra water right here. Cool. Like I said, get your last questions in. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I'm gonna take this on the other side where I'm going. I guess one thing, oh no, I don't know. That's how quick it is to change the bladder on those though. I got more in the, I got more of the dash, door protectors inside there. Oh yeah, I wiped the dash down. Tools out. All right, let's do this again. Anybody that sees Rye Beats in the, in the chat down there, head over to his channel, he's about to go live. He's probably waiting for me to finish maybe. That's six people watching. Rye Beats, R-H-Y-B-A-T-S. Check them out. You'll see me in the chats. I'll be chatting away. Sweet, there's that. I got to clean the outside. I'm not going to bore everybody and myself with uh, chit-chatting with nobody that's chit-chatting right now. But thanks for coming back. Sorry my GoPro died. Uh, but I'm going to take this off. That's a sweaty face. All right, guys. We will see everybody on the next one. Uh, pretty easy. Remember these door panels. Super easy, uh, one seven millimeter screw, use some thumb force, get you taken care of. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is get over here so I can kill the kill the stream. So, all right guys, like, subscribe, Tim Buster, uh, Tinder Brand, T-Town T-Shirt, Sun Distributing, uh, Dash Door Protectors, uh, all great stuff, hit them up, embroidery.